Hi, this is uh, Matthew with The Bud Grower, and today we're gonna be going over some of these grow lights. We've got um, some of our newer model LED lights. We've got a light from AC Infinity, Mars Hydro, and then a few more of our main workhorse lights. Okay, so this is a uh, PAR meter from Apogee Instruments. It reads the PAR values that are coming off of the light, which is basically a measurement of how much usable light these uh, units are producing. So we're going to be starting off with the TBG 1100, which is currently available on our website, but is not in any of the kits currently. Measuring from the bottom here, we're getting a par value of around 140. Next, we'll be moving on to this AC Infinity light. We're getting around 58, 60, maybe around a little bit, it's just having around 60. Next, we're going to be taking a look at this Mars Hydro unit. This one, again, is reading around 70. 72, staying pretty consistent. So next up, we're gonna be taking a look at our newest iteration of the Bud Grower LED lights. And these ones are hovering around 90, a little bit, staying just right around 90 there. Next, we're gonna be taking a look at the TBG 600 watt equivalent LEDs. These are our most popular LEDs. This one is hovering right around 100, 105. This is a slightly larger unit, which is perfect for 2x2, 3x3, and 2x4 grow tents. Um, it's an extremely powerful light that has a, a slightly larger form factor to give, again, a little bit better coverage. So this one is measuring in right around 200, and these lights are just about double the wattage, so we would expect to see them um, coming in at about that par value. All right, so in summary today, um, all of these lights are really great grow lights. Um, a few of them performed a little bit better than others. Um, a few standouts are going to be um, the Mars Hydro light was a little bit disappointing. Mars Hydro does have some great products, uh, but unfortunately this guy right here just wasn't um, up to the task. These uh, AC Infinity lights, they are very great build quality and they seem like they function well, um, but just based off their marketing and advertising, I would have expected a little bit more out of them. Um, and so it's just important to remember guys when you're shopping for a grow light, you don't always want to stick to just what's the biggest brand or, or what's the most flashy item in the advertising. You do want to do a little bit of research, look into the specifications of these products, make sure they have the coverage, um, the wattage, and that they're able to grow your plants to be successful.